Hello friends, welcome to learnexcelmicro.com. My name is Vishwa and I'm here with my second video of the tutorial for Excel VBA beginners. If you have not watched my first video, I would highly recommend you to watch the first video where I have given a brief introduction about this language, like what kind of language this is, what is the history of this language, where do we write your code in your workbook, where does it get saved in your workbook when you write your program, uh, etc. So I would recommend you to watch this, that video before you watch this video. This tutorial is going to be based on the principle where you learn things by doing it. So it means that I'm not going to give you a boring lectures about Excel VBA programming and you and uh, you get sleep while listening to, to my lectures while listening to my videos. So this is not going to be like uh, bedtime stories which you can just play on YouTube and you can sleep while listening to it. So rather it is going to be a very interesting one. At the end of this video, you can already see that you have started writing your programs in VBA. So friends, let's begin with our first program. And this is no way different than any other language. So here also we are going to learn how to show a message, hello world in Excel workbook by writing a VBA program. All right, press Alt F11 to go to your uh, VBA editor. So press Alt F11 and then or else you can just right click and you can uh, go to view code and you see for sheet one there is a code. I mean there is an editor for your code is available here and we will start our first program. Okay, so to write your program, Excel programs are basically uh, divided into two types of procedures. I will explain you what these procedures are, what is function and all, all technical stuff. For now, we will focus to write your uh, sub procedure. This is one of the type is called sub procedure. It is a short form of sub routine. And so you write sub and then you press space. Then you give a name of your uh, procedure which you want to execute. So I will name it as show message. For example yeah and then you have open braces and then you have closing braces and then as soon as you press enter you can see that I had typed sub the s was in small letter and I did not type any end sub the compiler will automatically change it into proper case if you have typed the word correctly so since I had typed the word sub correctly with the proper spelling and when I press enter automatically it, it changed um, small s into a capital S and then it has um, it has automatically typed end sub at the at the end of this uh, this procedure. It means that whatever code we want to execute we need to write all the statements between sub and end sub. And this name what I have given is you can give it whatever name you like it. The only thing you need to make sure that the name which you are giving it should not be already a keyword which is used by the VBA program. For example, I cannot give a name as sub. For example, if I go here and I give the name as sub, the compiler error you see. So you get a compiler error because sub is already used keyword in the VBA program so you cannot name your sub name your procedure as sub okay so this was just one uh, simple thing there'll be a lot a lot of things I'll be explaining you don't worry about all these terms which I'm using right now and then you see there is a um, open and close brackets so within this there is also a possibility that you can pass a parameter now what is parameter and how do we pass it and what I mean about this Okay, forget it. We will talk about it later. For now, all you need to focus is you can write sub, then you give the name of your uh, function or the procedure and then open and closing brackets and then you press enter and then you see end sub will automatically be there at the place. If it is not, you need to type end sub and just to make sure that you know your code, what you're going to write, it should be between S, uh, between a sub and end sub all right now 
to write what we want to show is we want to display a message so when we execute this program all we need all we want to see is a message displayed on workbook for example um, I want to display hello world when I execute this program all right so to display a message on workbook there is a there is a function there is a built-in procedure which is used basically in VBA is called MSG box yeah so MSG is short form of message and box yeah now here as well MSG box I have typed everything in a small letter and then I will press here uh, opening uh, I mean I will type open braces so as soon as I type open braces it means that it is going to ask for certain parameters to execute this code yeah and then you see that VBA editor the VBA editor has got IntelliSense and what is IntelliSense is basically when you press like for example dot or uh, on an object then all the all the other objects which belongs to that or all the methods or properties which belongs to that project and that object will appear there it means that it is it is giving you a hint that okay what are things it is basically expecting so you don't really need to remember i mean at least in this case so uh, that okay how do i type and what do i type to to display a message box for example yeah so here you see that the first parameter i need to pass pass is the prompt yeah and then after that you see that there are uh, buttons as vb message box style title help file context yeah a lot of things are there which you can pass but for this message box not all of the parameters are required because they are mentioned in in a bracket you see the buttons and title help file everything is mentioned in a in a in a in a in a bracket so that means that they are optional so if you would like to pass those parameters it's good if you don't pass it it is still fine and the procedure will work it will not give you an error but what is mandatory is the prompt so at least the prompt which you want to display in the message that has to be provided by you so now here to provide a prompt it is a string type I will come to uh, I will come um, in another video what is string type and what are different data types available in VBA and how do we use them how do we define them all right so don't worry about that for now let's focus on the message box to be printed with a message hello world so you press double quote and then you type your message hello world this is a string type and string has to be always in open and closing double quotes yeah so now hello world and then you close the bracket and then when you move your cursor to any other place or you just enter then you see automatically VBA has changed M into caps B into caps and then there is a space which I had not typed it initially and then after that it has uh, yeah the remaining was already there so and it has not given me any compile uh, compilation error so it means that my syntax is correct and the way i have typed everything is correct so it looks okay now yeah now this is the time we can run our code so you can press here there is an icon here as a play icon you can click on this before you click on this you need to make sure that your cursor is lying either on like in this line the first line that will be the best if not at least within this end sub or on message or on this line or on the first line so anywhere in between sub and end sub if your cursor is lying and when you press this button it means that you are trying to run this particular procedure and not any other yeah because here there is uh, only one procedure but it is possible that you have another procedure for example procedure uh, one for example yeah so in that case how VBA will know which one to run so it means that you have to place your, uh, sorry you have to place your cursor within that particular procedure which you would like to run so we want to run this particular procedure so you can click on this um, icon to play to run this particular um, VBA program 
or else you can go here and then you already find this again we can run you have this button or else you can press f5 f5 is the shortcut key to run the procedure so if i press f5 here here you see the message box which has appeared as hello world with an ok button so congratulations you have written your first vba program which shows a message box with prompt hello world right isn't this easy all right so click ok you go here you see your code is really working now all right so now you saw uh, that how to write your program in vba so it means that it has to be within sub and end sub so whatever uh, you like to perform whatever you like to write it has to be within sub and end sub how do you how do you run your program is basically by clicking here or going to run and press this button or else by pressing f5 okay all right so this was simply about creating your first program so that's it for this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you are notified with my next video in next video i'm going to explain you about how to debug your code and different kind of data type we use in excel vba so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye